sponsored by Winwing Technologies. Full Metal Construction was not just a selling point, it was their baseline. Valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's viewer requested dogfight, we are revisiting A10C versus SU25. Old, simple, but robust air to ground, low altitude attack aircraft. Both have weathered the time very well and proved their worth. Neither of these are dogfighters or built for dogfighting, but we're going to make them do it because it's going to be fun. We've actually done this before, but we had them using missiles. This time, it's guns only. Statistics. A10C by ED. Professional flight model. I'm using 30% internal fuel, giving it a total weight of 30,730 pounds. Empty weight, 25,500 pounds. Static sea level thrust in its twin turbofan engines, 18,130 pounds combined. Giving it, in this configuration, a power to weight ratio of a moderate 0.59 pounds of thrust per pound of weight. Weapons. 1. GAU 30mm Avenger multi-barrel cannon. You all know it. It's the Avenger. Wing loading. Very important for a dogfight. Just over 60 pounds per square foot. So, in this configuration, for every square foot of wing is being loaded up with 60 pounds. HMD for air to air no and no special attributes. SU25 by ED. Professional flight model. It's lighter and smaller. 25,931 pounds with 50% fuel. It burns through a hell of a lot quicker, so we've given it a bit more fuel. Empty, 22.2 thousand pounds. Static sea level thrust. More than the A10 at 19.8 thousand pounds. Just shy of 20 thousand pounds. Giving it a much more respectable 0.77 pounds of thrust per pound of weight. Weapon. It also has a 30mm cannon. In this case, a twin barreled non rotary cannon, but firing a similar size cartridge. Wing loading. For every square foot of wing, we are loading in this configuration with 71.5 pounds of weight. No HMD, no special. So, RC predictions. In terms of power to weight ratio, the frogfoot wind is going to go faster. It's got a slightly more swept wing. It's going to accelerate faster. But in terms of turn, there is less wing loading on the A10, so it is going to load up the wing less, it's going to turn better, and it has a straighter wing. All of those things are going to make it turn, well, certainly tighter, which is going to be useful. And in terms of gun, I don't know if you'd call them equal. I prefer the Avenger because it's got a higher, you know, fire rate. So I suppose the A10 will win in, in gun terms. But which one do you think is going to do best? Well, the A-10 has the advantage of having air-to-air -air targeting for the gun. It does a bit. It's got an inertial snake, hasn't it? Yeah. It doesn't have tracers. Oh, right. Yeah. That's a massive thing, isn't it? It was never yeah. obviously intended for any kind of air-to-air -air use, the gun. And so there are no tracer options. And if you don't have a CCIP gun sight, we don't have CCIP, we've just got a gun snake, then it's really hard to hit without tracers. So that's a massive point RC has made there, whereas the Frogfoot saw fit to put tracers on their rounds so you can walk the rounds in like a warbird or something so that's a right. fair point so i think that's the advantages to the su-25 but i don't know oh, dear. you can get more rounds on yeah. on the target in a shorter period of time with the a10 as an overall i'm going to go with on paper i think that the su-25 looks like a better fighter it's faster and it's gun although the gun isn't as good it's got tracers which means you can walk it in like a warbird. However, whenever we have these more or less equal fights, the A-10 always surprises. It always seems to wangle something out of the bag. It's just something the A-10 can do. So we'll see you guys. Stand by. Welcome into first battle. I'm starting in the Hog. RC is starting in the Frog. One thing I forgot is that the visibility on the A-10 is very good. I mean, it's a bit chunky in the ABO, but up here where your dogfighting happens is actually beautiful. And as we know, visibility is one of the most important things. Four miles ahead of me, we're at 16,000 feet above, I don't know, some island in the Pacific. Gentlemen's merge, I'm pausing now. Right, gotta remember how to do this. Air to air, check, DMS right, check. Inertial gun snake is not there. There we go. 
there. We'll be merging relatively shortly. Adjust my glass. Gentlemen's merge in three, two, one. Merge. Wow, we're a lot closer than we thought we were. Right, it's not an F-16. I must resist the urge to go vertical. Now, what we should see here, value viewers, is... Uh, I'm not sure about my turn rate, but my turn circle, turn radius, should be much smaller than RC's. Now, that's quite hard to fight against for RC, if I can turn inside him. And whether his power-to-weight ratio is going to help. I've got more of a World War II wing as well, which really helps turn. God, I can't see you. Yeah, there you go. RC has a massive visibility problem because of the way that canopy is made. Yeah. And that's that's what I've got to exploit. So I've got to keep on his lift vector if possible. For I'm a strike. Okay, RC's going down. I am gonna combat that by trying to get into lag, which I'm gonna do now. Okay, into lag now. Opportunity's opened itself. Still pushing into lag. Let RC dance around. Okay, we're going for a strike. Careful of the overspeed. Lack of trace is a bit of a problem. Ah! Man! Oh! you there I see but just my complete lack of traces made it very difficult for me to uh, yeah to actually hit you so a bit frustrating but never mind we are now on RC6 kind of and we will utilize that take our time find the gun snake this is one slippery customer he's gonna extend he's gonna use his speed but it gives us a chance to snipe I'm right in the gun snake and everything, but I said, Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just I got you in the gun snake because it was relatively a stable turn you were doing. I got you in a yeah. gun stake and I was just moving it up and down and up and down trying to find that point. Right. And the good thing about that is obviously one bullet and you're dead basically. I yeah. Mean, it's basically a, a basically a small bomb inside your plane. Right. That was good. We'll do another one in this configuration and then we'll switch over and adjust the HUD. Okay. Um, in we go. In terms of the setup of the aircraft, flaps and everything, I'm just having everything completely neutral. I doubt anything will help. There's no maintaining energy in this plane either. No. Sitting in his lift vector now, it's almost impossible for him to see me like this. Whereas I've got this lovely open canopy, it makes it so much easier. Which is what I'm going to utilise. I've also kept my speed pretty well. Try and tighten the turn. And you'll see, you'll see how I can turn inside of him as well. Because of my superior wing loading, my superior wings. Okay, he's doing what the frog does best. He's ex exiting and extending. Now, I can't do much to catch him up. In this case, I'm just going to fall back into lag. And just slowly plod along. Eventually, he'll turn around. Wow, I've got the hog 400 knots. That's actually... I'm not going to push it. I don't want my wings to fall off. I've actually gone too fast now and I can't bloom in turn. Back in we go. Pushing back into lag. Bit of a yo-yo. Uh-oh. Yes! Yep. Yeah, I'll take it, I'll see. 
Maneuver kill. Maneuver kill is a maneuver kill. Yeah. Well, that looked just amazing for the A10 um, so far. It's winning in every department. So let's swap over now. So we can equal out the pilot skill and let's see how it goes. Right, let's see if we remember how to do this. So Ed, ammo, check. Gun mode, check. There we go. Okay, I'm all good. Right, let's see how this plays. Now look at that problem with the uh, lift vector. You see how I just can't see it? Uh-oh, I've lost you. Merge. Oh, I didn't see it. I, didn't s I don't see it. Right. And that gives me a chance to uh, extend and get away from him because I wasn't particularly ready either. So let's put it in our terms, valued humans. Okay. Now we've got a lot of airspeed. Let's keep fast. And we're going to go in for a uh, a boom and or a zoom. Wow, this thing really doesn't turn, I see. No, you I don't. weren't lying. I thought you were just. I thought you were just being nice to me. There you are. But it does not turn. Right, my lift vector there. Okay. I'll take that. Coming in for a boom and zoom. Oh! See, that was a snipe. Yeah, you, I think you're going to be the better pilot in this one. Are you down completely? No. All right, let's carry on. Okay, I can still see you. And one thing I've learned already about this is that A10 can go 400 knots, which is blooming fast. Pretty much the top speed of this plane as well. I see he's an engine down, but he is back in the fray. Uh, what do I do in this position? What do I do in this position? I'd probably turn into him and, and head for lag. That's probably what I'd do. Still not turning him in, which is a bit annoying. Okay. Over the top we go, into a vertical fight. I think that's where I want to be. I think. Because of my better energy. Power to weight. He's going to be slow because he's on one engine, so he's going to be very slow. If you're wondering why I'm not turning very well, I'm full off stick pretty much. I can't pull any harder. Speed, pretty decent. Okay, Aussie's extending, that gives me a chance for a hit and run. Which I think it's my best bet at the moment. Ah, no, 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 back here, Aussie. Oh, dang it. Right, what I'm not going to do is get into a kind of vertical scissors situation there. I'm going to wait. I'm going to high yo-yo. Because I know RC is going to be struggling for energy now. Be patient. I know he's going to get on my six here, but I don't think he's got the power to get up here. So I'm not going to worry too much. Bit of Buffett going on. I'm over the top. Again, I don't think he can get close enough to worry me. That gun is almost impossible to aim at range. I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, yeah, he's going to fall out of the sky. That gives me my chance. Pounce cap. Oh, so he's being squiggly. I'm rolling. I'm difficult. No, I can't do it. I just cannot get slow enough to turn. Maybe. 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 Ah, dang it. Okay, maintain a six. Hi, yo-yo. I'm not going into scissors. I'm not going to do it. It's a fool's errand to go into scissors with an A-10 with basically any aircraft. but well, maybe thrust vectoring or something, you know. And I've lost him. There he is. Okay, be patient. Drop down. So what I'm doing here, valid users, is I'm just extending and, and going in for a run, extending, going in for a run. Which just feels what this plane should do don't want to get into a uh, rate fight or any, any kind of turn fight like that. It's just not going to go well. And then take my moment and have a shot. Damn it. Oh, see, it's wiggling around, which is really annoying. Right, never mind. Be patient. Do it again. Eventually, I'll get something on target. Kind of like a Messerschmitt versus a Spitfire. The Messerschmitt just wants to do this energy fight. The Spitfire wants to get him into a turn. I'm aware RC is a bit of a wounded animal with only one engine, but it's 
Also kind of a him problem. Brakes on, don't want to overspeed. Come on, hit. Yeah, finally. I see he's out of there. Good fight. For one yeah. engine, you did pretty well. You saw me coming in yeah. every time and you did your wiggling, which made it harder to line up. And You know, my gunner is not the best in the world. Let's do one more like that um, and uh, just make absolutely sure. Gotcha. Right, let's go, go, go. And go. Right, Valley viewers, I've got to decide what to do now because I can't beat him in a rape fight, I'm pretty sure. He's going to outturn me in every way. So what I'm going to do... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to wait until the opportunity arises. See how he's turning in there? And I'm on full aft stick and I'm pretty much lateral. And what I don't want to do is go head to head like that. He's going to force me head to head. So I'm going to bail. I make myself an unappetizing target by getting loads of airspeed and giving it a bit of roll. And I'm going to get the extension of this fighter. Fighter. Bomber. Uh oh, I've oversped. Off the power, air brakes out. Lost control. Compressibility. I think it's the same thing what happened to RC. Okay, got it back. Right, I know he's on the six, but where is he? Oh, he's miles behind. That's exactly what we wanted. The chance of him hitting without traces is basically a million to one. It's just not going to happen. And we will outrun him. Now, all that energy we've got, let's take it into the vertical. RC will come up, but he's not going to be able to... He's just, you know... He's not going to be able to do it. Tell me a few peps. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll 90. Come round on him. And completely lose visual. Brilliant. There he is. Got him back. Such a high deflection that you just, it'd just be possible to hit with that gal. There's no way. I, I mean, you hit me. But... Okay, got him in a vertical fight now. And what I'm going to try and do is slowly eeky weeky onto his tail now, which may or may not work. There's no doubt it's, that this is better in the vertical, I think. That says he's getting his gun on me. <laughs> no, stick with it. Stick with it, Cap. Not allowing him that solution. Whilst he's got his S together this time, it's becoming problematic. Ah, he gets in that spot right there, look, and I cannot see him. I've lost him. I'm getting out. Chuffer, chuffer. Try that again. Plenty of speed. Let's see if we can see him. Do not. So let's do a little bit cheaty weety. No, he's right behind me again. God damn it. No visibility at all. He shouldn't be able to get up here. Completely lost him now. Oh, where we don't want to be. That is where we don't want to be. I hear a gal. Wiggle, rudder, everything. I just hope he burnt himself out on that run. Eventually, I'm going to get far enough away that I can do a complete turn. That's my best thing I can think of now. Balls. He loses sight of him. He's got a bloody white colour skin. There he is. I can get round this time, and it's. I know I don't want to do it head to head, but it's, I think it's the best I can actually get at the moment. That thing just turns. Ouch! It. Not dead. Both engines are going, RC. Might have opened a doorway as well. RC put everything into that, all of his energy into that, and it might have given me an opening. So, I'm going to be very patient now. Stay in lag. I know he's seen me, but it's all right. I can live with that. Make sure we don't have the speed. It turns out one uh, 30 mil can't kill me. They're both very really tough aeroplanes. Okay, I can sit and lag now. Wait for a mistake. Okay, that's a possible opportunity. He's... Yep. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Oh, God, that was a close one. Man, this thing does not pull out. Does Did not you follow me down? Did you die? No. Okay. Right, right. I was wondering if you followed me down. Yes, so I did. Lose control. Yeah, that's a little trick. It was a tactic. Uh, I'll see it's hard to kill, but I've still technically got a six hit. Fuel. It's actually okay. I've got over a ton of fuel, which without afterburners is not too bad. Patience Valley viewers, I don't want to go in for a, a lead shot because, you know, it's not an F-16. I haven't got a very good gun sight. Chance of me hitting is pretty minimal, so I'm just going to, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Damn it! Oh, that's why. Okay. A yo-yo. And I have retained six, which I will stick with. Right, where's he going? He's, I think he's just killed himself there. Oh. Mm. Killed myself. Mm, I'm not falling for it. Okay. I have just given my position away, annoyingly. But I think I can outsmart him here. Probably get back into lag. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. She does not like going slow. Damn it. I got right out of... Nothing happened. Right, completely gave my position away there. I stalled the plane. I've got away with that. All right, longest fight ever, but that's how it goes. Ah, come on, maneuver. Once he's made an error there, I'm not sure I can actually capitalize. I'm gonna go for a high yo yo. Yes, I think Alcy's just done himself in. No, I'm good. Take that. I will take that. All right. You must have felt that go by you. It's done me into scissors, so I'm going up for a yo-yo. It's over there somewhere. It's over here. Stall, don't stall, don't stall. Okay, retain six. Let's go vertical. I might be able to cut him off here. Come on, nose down. Come on, turn. Oh. I will get you, RC. It will happen. Oh, he's gone full maverick. And that's uh, opportunity. one we needed. Crap, this thing has no roll authority. A full rudder. No ruler roll authority at all. Bollocks. Have you gone, I see? I'm back. There he is. Over there somewhere. Chasing him around this island. Who's going to run out of fuel the quickest at this point? Still got oh, point eight, me. Quite an eight tons still. Oh, maybe. How much did you give us? Uh, 30 to 50%. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe because I'm getting low on fuel. Problem is, I keep getting to you, but because you're so maneuverable, it's, it's, it's boom and zoom only. That's all I can do. And the gun sight is almost impossible to bloody use. Shakes all over the place. Ah! Shakes all over the place. Patient, don't give up. Opportunity. Opportunity. Oh, right. I'm gonna run out of ammo. I gotta wait until I'm absolutely dead perfect. We're gonna be waiting a long, long time to be perfect. Crap. I know I'm bleeding all this speed off, so I'm gonna go straight back in. I know he's gonna stall. I know he's gonna still. Dang it, where did he go? No, 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 no,
God damn it. Okay. Come on, full rudder, full stick, turn your bucket. God, let's see how you crash now, I see this thing's does not like it on the limit. There you go. No, once you're uh, once you you're low and slow, you're screwed. Give me an eight hand any day. Neither of us are giving up. Someone's gonna die somehow. It's incredibly unlikely it's gonna be by cannon fire at the moment, but given up on everything I said and I've gone straight into a turn fight. Gosh, we're just at that stage now. Where must get shot, must get shot. Okay, we've worked our way. We've earned that. We earned that. Ah, oh, no. He's going to hit the golf course. I reckon he's going to hit the golf course. I don't think so. Okay. Don't let him get his nose up. Don't let him get his nose up. And yo-yo. And back in we go. Back in position. He's too low. I can't. Can't do it. No, 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 Full rudder. Oh, bollocks. I think it's a button. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a time when you just glad it ended some way. That's the kind of time we're on now. Right, we've got to try and draw something from well, that, yeah, that It's kind of like what we said um, at the beginning then. So the A10 from like our um, Spitfire and 109 fight. The A10's a bit like the Spitfire. It's not as fast as the 109. It's got a better wing loading and a straighter wing. So, well, it's got better wing loading. So it turns, its turn rate is probably better. I'm not entirely sure, but it feels a bit better. But its turn radius is definitely much better. Whereas the 25 is faster and conserves its energy a little better in the turns, I think, I think. But it can't turn anywhere near as tight and struggles to get its nose. Also, it's an absolute handful. What a horrible plane to fly down here on a limit. Whereas the A10 is. Now, if I had time. tracers, I probably would have had you. Right, because you had loads of shots, but it's almost impossible. Yeah, but you just shoot yeah, into the wind. Tracers, it was. So it was I would say out. the end result is easy. The A10 is a better turn fighter, definitely, especially with that better visibility. And the gun's annoying, I know, but it's definitely a better turn fighter. Um, and the SU25 is a boom and zoom, but you really need the patience to do a boom and zoom. Um, and we did try for the first 10 minutes or so of this fight, but after a while just got fed up and went into a, a turn fight. In terms of dogfighting, turn fight, take the A10 every day, I think. If you're going to be patient and do the energy conservation game and dive down lots of times, then SU25. Overall, which is better? I think the A10. Um, have you got anything intelligent to add to that, Mr. RCYC? No. Right, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Go and do some dogfighting and do better than that. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.